Hi, I'm Melissa Wu and I'm an Australian diver and a World Championship silver medalist. Today I'm going to be giving you a bit of an inside peek into the Inwa 3.5 Somersault Tuck. Inwa 3.5 is actually one of my favourite dives. It has the dive number 407C. So in diving we give the dives numbers to make it a bit more simple and easy when we talk about them and when we announce them in competitions. So the 407 basically means that starting with the number 4, it's going to mean that it's the inward group and then most dive numbers have a zero for the second number and then what the seven means is it means that it's seven half rotations so it has a seven but that usually in diving means three and a half so in this case it's an inward three and a half but in other cases could be a back or a reverse three and a half all dives in diving have a degree of difficulty and this one has a 3.2 degree of difficulty which means that it's one of the hardest dives in my dive list. I use Inma 3.5 not only in my individual dive list but also when competing in synchro and mixed synchro events. Uh, the great thing about Inma 3.5 is that it's got a pretty similar takeoff all around the world but the challenge does come down to the fact that it's very technical in the takeoff. So the first thing you want to make sure you start on the end with a really tall and confident posture. The start position is really important in this dive because it can be a little bit scary to perform because you do have to jump backwards but then rotate forwards towards the board or the platform. And that's also going to keep you the right distance from the platform. You don't want to be too far back from the platform but you also don't want to be too close. It's all about moving the ankles and then using your ankles and your hips to both create rotation but also create distance from the board. I find that it's more about timing rather than just being strong to create rotation. So for me when I do it, I try and think about throwing my arms slightly before my legs leave the platform. So you have to actually start initiating that forward momentum before you start jumping backwards. Once you finish the takeoff, what happens in the air is also really important. So you want to try and get into a really tight tuck shape in this. And most divers actually split their knees a little bit when they're in their tuck shape and try and bring their knees into their shoulders. And this means that they can get into a nice tight tuck without worrying about uh, kneeing themselves in the face. And it can also help for spotting. I don't spot this dive, it's mainly based on feeling and I actually count my rotations as I, as I go. But we do practice a lot of repetitions in training and it's for that reason, to be able to know exactly how to nail it every time, especially when it counts in competition. In diving, the entry is the most important part. So the way that you open up out of this dive has also a really big effect on how well you're able to execute that entry. You don't want to open up too fast and go into an arch shape. You want to make it really controlled and be able to stop the rotation but also control your body so it enters the water nice and straight. You need to make sure that you have your eyes open looking for the water so you know where it is and stretch as long and tight as you can to be able to create that rip entry. My biggest tip for Inward 3.5 is to keep your chin up on the takeoff. You want to maintain a really tall and confident posture and keeping your chin up means that you can safely throw for that rotation and initiate speed as fast as you can but it's going to help you keep that really safe distance from the board. If you do drop your chin it's really easy for the dive to be a little bit too close and it also affects the come out of the dive because if your chin is down it's easy to miss the timing of the kick out and makes the dive wash over more often than not. So it definitely helps all in with takeoffs, that's my go to. Keep your chin up and throw nice and confidently and get into a really nice tuck shape. She's finding good form here in this individual competition.